So, hello everyone, welcome to my live mission of Asuka episode 10. And uh, now it's a magical warfare. I thought that episode was pretty bad. Like, it had some good fan service. The elf mama, elf, you know, the really captain was funny and so on. But at the same time, it was like 10 minutes of the beast talking. And those 10 minutes didn't bring anything. Right. It was like 10 minutes, we're like, we will do military stuff. And I really felt that they have no, no bearing. On this episode, very unlikely will that have any bearing on the current war now, right? It's like, oh, we need to have a good strategy. Mm -hmm. Good strategy. It's kind of that, right? So let's see if I'm wrong or not. But I think it's, I think we could have skipped the whole ten minutes of talking last week. Yeah, did this battle. It would be the exact same experience watching the battle, right? So anyway, let's start watching. Hopefully, it's more you know content now. Three, two, one, and go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so <laughs> I like and also dislike, but they're also unique. This, there's like no consistency, uh, right? <laughs> Here's a moose mini tower guy or something. It's like okay, there's, there's like nothing. You know, every monster looks different, right? They're, it's both good and also really confusing. <laughs> yeah, and we have you know we have goblins and we have I don't know talking cat humanoids, wolf humanoids. Uh, those necromancer guys, they were like warlocks, and uh, I don't know. It's like every episode brings at least a few new races, right? A few new animals, or so on, which is very confusing, also. <laughs> well, it's confusing, but it's like there's no limit. I feel there's, there's no like there's no rules. Like this is like up. Oh, you can also be dolphin magicians or something. Out of way. Uh, okay, and see, you know, those kind of small guys with helmets on them that are maybe getting in those girls there for fun, right? Hopefully not, probably. Yeah, but like those guys, they are like three different big monster dias, right? And then there are small guys that's like the Mega Man helmet on them from Mega Man, Mega Man 2 and 3, right? And they are kind of like, I guess they're, you know, on, on the girls there, and it's like... What are those guys? And there's three of them, but they look identical. So they are one, I guess, role. They are they look the same. Man, anime is weird. It's very B, I feel. I had a comment about this last week. I talked about like last week about this Reddit thing. And I was like, it's compare this to uh Killing Vice, which I think is a pretty good anime, yeah. Which was released basically the exact same time frame last year. Well yeah, yeah. Fridays, late on Fridays for me at least, yeah. So basically, really late in Japan, right? <laughs> yeah, so basically, exact same time frame this anime had. Um, you know, very late in the night, right? And also, absurd, a lot of sex, and, you know, sexy girls, and like, you know, weird stuff happening, and, so, and also a lot of battle time. But Killing Bites, I'll say it again, the point here is that if you have seen Killing Bites, if you like this anime, and you like how like, you trash it is, right? You have to check out Killing Bites. Killing Bites is actually, in my opinion, is actually a really good anime. Like, it's absurdly trashy, but in a good way, you know? It's like, Killing Bites is the sharpest thing, and they're all good, or they're fighting in, like, they're naked, they're fighting in their fur uniforms, and it's all like, you know, it's a scene with, like, a snake guy, I guess, a girl in the bathroom, some really, like, really, like, a random maid. It's a really crazy anime. It's like this anime, very similar, but it's more, and it's more battles, and everything is better animated, and it's sexier. It's, and the characters are much more sexier. It is a much... It, they are, I feel like this anime and Killing Bites are pretty much the same, you know, very, very similar genre. Like, you know, trash, etchy, you know, borderline hentai animes with some crazy action, yeah. But Killing Bites, in my opinion, them, did it way, way better. So anyway, again, check out Killing Bites if you haven't seen it. Because it's very similar to this anime, but much better. And it was released exactly on the same time date uh, a year ago. Straight up a year ago, yeah, last uh, winter season. So I guess this is like the trash slot. <laughs> yeah, this is the trash time slot. It's like very late to Fridays. Trash anime. <laughs> yeah. But it's a way better trash anime. A lot of twins they were doing it together. Yeah, there are two twin sisters are doing it together. And it's very random. <laughs> okay, let's check out the Diaz animal things. Yeah, so if you were attacked by, I don't know, giant plushies, how would you defeat them? With your bazooka or something. Yeah! And they also have like magical armor, so they aren't like... 
Vad gick det sen? <laughs> Spacklad. This looks like a really bad strategy. They're just walking to them. They're like, yeah, like. Oh, here we go. See, these guys are the same, right? Why, why are these guys the same color scheme? And, like, why is like a green and red and a blue one? Because the bigger ones, they're all unique, right? But the smaller ones, then it's something that is like, oh, whatever. Flamethrower! Yeah, okay. I'm just saying, like, it's so inconsistent. <laughs> but this is what I mean, like, the whole, uh, let's talk about our military strategy last week, so far has not paid off for a second went. Do you see them having a formation shooting at them from different, you know, defense positions? And that's kind of like a given. Yeah, they're attacking us, so we will, of course, protect our, you know, and shoot at them. Yeah, it's like, of course we would do that. We don't need to see this thing if, unless it actually is going to bring out some interesting strategies. In my opinion. Maybe I wanted the harsh, but I took it. I think this is one of the problems with the anime. This anime is clearly is trash, right? And I mean, it, you know, trash anime, yeah. The plot is high and so on. So give us more of that. Don't give me this like, you know, phony intelligence thing. Where it's like, yeah, look at us. We are intelligent anime. No one believes that. And these two cats are also pointless too. It's a pig from uh, One Punch Man, yeah. Okay, I guess Asuka can save them probably. Probably right, so it's her saving her best friends. A random police car? What? It's probably her. Nope, it's a random police guy actually. He's probably dead now though. What a hero. She rem still rem remembering her. Nope, she's injured. She's giving up very easily though. I would be like, yeah, my leg is hurt, but I would say run. I think she's giving up very easily. She should be like, I can still jump on one leg, man. That's good, gonna carry her. That's good. The poor police guy, though, they used the. Uh, well, a hero, right? The, the policeman, yeah, he's so dead, right? Yeah, this guy is so dead. This is... That guy was a true hero of the anime. That policeman, he was a true hero. He was the, the biggest courage guy ever. The rest of them are his ridiculous. Uh, Oh, I have powers, I can fight them. He actually killed him. He actually dead, yeah. He got killed. He actually took the, the bullet there for um, the, you know, B main friends character, whatever. There she is, mecha girl, cyborg girl, yeah, with her outfit. <laughs> the very revealing outfit, of course. It's fitting her purple ribbon, though. <laughs> yeah, it's a team there, it's a team there. But yeah, that policeman, what a hero. What a hero. I like how like a snake actually, how we now. Yeah, it's like a snake on the neck. It's like good detail actually. Good take on it, yeah. So he knows like an old goblin guy? And I guess they are doing it, the small things? I guess they are for some reason... Yeah, I guess they... They do the whole Goblin Slayer thing. <laughs> ah, yeah! It's like, why are they doing that thing suddenly? Goblins call like goblins, I guess, yeah! She's badass, though. She's badass. I don't get for the bad guys got on this game. Really, the, the story like, like, like makes no sense. Oh, more, more military scenes. Oh. This feeling, oh, it's just bad feeling, yeah. Yeah, back to them. But as I said, right, not that he said last week has any bearing at all now. It doesn't matter. Nice. But yeah, those goblins, they look the same. The goblins got like goblins, yeah, something like that. Weird. Why don't they have more, actually, military defenses at the base? 
Here we go, yeah. Fit are really under, you know, otherwise. It's a tank at least, yeah. <laughs> but I feel that military base should have like 20 of these tanks. It should have at least several medium and heavy tanks, right? They can chill them out. These kind of, they're, they're like big zombies. I mean, okay, they're basically a tank of titan. Yeah, they're basically slow titans against a better than modern military unit. Yeah, titans are scary in the titan world. But if the, if the titans would have been that scary if you had, you know, the military might, right? The, the modern military might. They can just blast them down, right? Yeah, like, it wouldn't be that scary. You said the Zeppelin things in there, yeah. If you could fly and so on, yeah. Like, if you had if you airplanes, you could bomb people. Uh, Yeah, but I like your her whip is like a snake now, this looks like a snake skin. That's cool. Yeah, he's gonna fight, I guess. But I really don't get where he got all the guys from. Well, yeah, like they defeated the aliens before, right? And then this guy's like, I have a million, uh, you know, Diaz aliens. It's like, why? Well, I just have them. <laughs> What? They summoned guns? Is this new? They summoned... <laughs> What's happening? Why don't they all do this? Why don't they all summon guns? Oh shit. Where's Kurumi? We need her. But why don't they all summon guns for? Why Why? Why are they like... Walking around those clubs so they can have like machine guns? Oh yeah, it's an explosive knife. Or... You just kill it anyway, okay. Yeah, suddenly they all have machine guns. This sounds like water guns, but... <laughs> yeah. What? Why did you solve with this? Yeah, the attack still is pretty good though, against the... Or, okay, it's there, yeah. Oh, they're surrounding it. There's so many of them, yeah, like I don't get how they are... So incredibly many of them. It's just absurdly amount of evil aliens. Oh, a green, I guess, like a rocket launcher? Is that the purple one? <laughs> but they only have one tank? It doesn't make any sense. Why don't they have like 50 tanks, right? This is the military base of Okinawa, right? Classic base tube. Since World War II is one, yeah. Why don't they only have one tank for? It doesn't make any goddamn sense. They have one tank. They're like, oh no, we lost our one single tank. Damn it. <laughs> it's like, damn it. Our strategy meeting for 15 minutes now. Couldn't <laughs> think of having more than one tank. Damn it. He's going to fight now then. So his powers. Oh, make a pig win. But yeah, one problem is like, I really don't care about the bad guys, right? The bad guy, not this guy, this. The, the female, almost the traitor bad guy, is interesting, but this guy is really not interesting. I would say. So there's also the weakness. Okay. Suddenly they teleport in more of them? But don't they actually look like the same for once? Don't they actually have. They actually look yeah, identical for some reason. Per column there, yeah. But yeah, all the scenes with the military is completely pointless. All these scenes here could be skipped. I don't see what they bring at all. They're like, oh no, we lost our one tank. What can we do now? Yeah, like they're... The strategy they are bringing is so pointless. It's just like, oh yeah. They have the best fighter out there to make her get pieces. Yeah, to her, her like, doing more and more evil in there, yeah. Perfect strategy. Leaving her in there, so he goes crazy instead. Yeah, great strategy, great strategy. Um, 
Sverige och Sverige. Ja. Ja. Hur det här blir så det är. Det är inte så klart att de inte kan ha en massiv PTSD. Det är en av de strengtna filmen där med mig. Det är en av de But at the same time it's like, man, it's the same thing every episode. And it's like, oh yeah, I hate thing. I don't think it changes one, yeah. But I don't know why they're leaving her at the door. They <laughs> make her go crazy in there. She should be out fighting instead, yeah. Actually, I think Kurumi is probably the worst character, strategy wise, to have in the door. She's the healer. She should be in the house and healing the other warriors. Uh, that would have been the best strategy. Yeah, like, she is the, probably the least important person to have at the door. Because she, okay, I guess, can heal against Asuka, but still, right? Yeah. Isn't that like the worst strategy? And also, again, bro, they have one attack. Yeah, she's bleeding there since her green yard. Still winning though, of course. Oh, a goblin. But those goblins are the same. Yeah, the yellow goblin is the same for some reason. They're like low beat goblin, all have the same appearance. And they also got a goblin, right? Go go goblin got a goblin, yeah! ABCD Of course she's fine These magician girls, where's the Chinese girl? But yeah, they need more magician girls But yeah, oh flamethrower time She's like, no worry guys, I'm a flamethrower I can kill like 55 of them in one blow here, yeah. Look at that, Maho Shonyos, the strongest thing we have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like how these muscular men are like, that's a real woman. Magician girls, they're so strong. Couldn't have a better allies. What a proud woman, yeah. <laughs> they're all like, But see, like, Kurumi should be out there. But she, again, she's the healer. She should have the most value outside helping other ones to heal and so on, right? Yeah. Asuka, I guess, can be at the door, but this is the way she is out in there, not healing them. Because she should be in the front line, she should be in here, but still, but still she should be somewhere in the mid, yeah. In the back line, but still, though. Because when they finally leave in the gate, and that's gonna be bad because it means enemies can enter the gate, right? They leave in the door now, so it's kind of stupid, but okay. They're just gonna fight, you know, the the whip girl, right? Yeah. And yeah, all my friends are dead and so on. Yeah, we get it. Here they come. Yeah, they're gonna fight the bad, the main baggers, right? Of course. <laughs> we gotta give him a pretty good character though. He's a good character though, yeah, the, the cat thing. Here they are, they're gonna fight the Maddie girl now, yeah. So that thing could be a previous Maddie girl, the one in the mecha suit. Could be someone else they know, right? You can't really see it because the massive suit, but yeah, could be someone in it. And of course, her 
with the one leg. Mm, he has the weird um, warlock necromancy thing there, yeah. This thing is absurdly convenient. I can use like summer necromancers like this. Yeah, it's like, what? The bad guy has so much powers that way. There's so absurd power limits. They're like, ah, whatever. Yeah. Nice ass. She's a noob, Kurumi. She's been in so many wars already. This girl has like, no experience. This girl has like been in Megan for like, one day. <laughs> she has so little experience. Kurumi wins easily. Nice ass again there. Her outfit is awesome though, but I mean. Yeah. She's clearly is the leader, the, the traitor. But I mean, Kurumi should win easily. Like, the, the girl has been. A manic girl for like at one or two days. <laughs> she just turned into a manic girl. Kurumi's been in for like three years. She's been in like a war already. She's in a war, yeah. Mm, it's breaking the wall there. It's Asuka's gonna face him this episode, yeah. That red blood thing probably can't stop her, right? No way. The wolf's gonna fight? What? <laughs> I love it! <laughs> Wolf is gonna fight! <laughs> I love it! I love it! The Wolf is gonna fight! He's actually a badass warrior, of course he is! It makes sense for some reason, of course he is! Somebody dead now though, but uh, yeah. He easily beats the two other guys at least. This guy would beat him, but. The silly. And now it's hers that as a wolf guy died, yeah. <laughs> but I love it, wolf guy! It's like, I can kill him easily, no problem. He's probably very dead though, he silly attacked her like a fool there, but. He's like a mecha suit to me, it's so weird to like, yeah, like, the other guy are like flushy animals with laser guns, and he's like a, you know, like a cyborg or mecha suit or something, exoskeleton, it's weird, like, they're so inquisitive. Ah, here we go. Hand grenade cat. <laughs> Gonna love the cat though. The cat is crazy, yeah. Perfect land. She usually kills this necromancer wall, guys. Can Elf fight though? I hope so. Probably not for some reason. So she killed off screen too. Like, oh, how is she so weak? Is she that the magician leader? Like, yeah, why is she so le weak for? And why is he a cyborg guy? <laughs> or a mecha guy? Nothing makes any sense, but whatever. But yeah. <laughs> like I said last week, all the talking, pointless. You give nothing. <laughs> one send, one tag in. The tag died. Oh no. Yeah, it's like. All that strategic talking last week, completely pointless. Didn't bring anything to the table at all. No, I knew it. Completely pointless. That was, that was a joke. That game was nothing. <laughs> and every time they jumped over to the military now, it was like, uh, okay, that was useful somehow. Not really. Um, but yeah, they're always gonna fight, right? It's gonna be Kurumi versus. Um, I guess, I don't know what her name is, uh, I completely ignore what her name is, but yeah. Kurumi was just the... The guy, right, and uh, so on, yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. And um, Kurumi might be to be easily. I mean, the other girl has been a magic girl for like a few days, right, like two days. And she is a very, very experienced magic girl. But she's going to be like, oh, you captured me. <laughs> yeah, it's completely useless. Oh my god, it's crazy. Yeah, I don't think it makes sense. Ah, whatever. See you next week in more. Please like, subscribe, and See you guys. Have a good day. Uh, next video, of course, Kaguya Sama. Oh, yes.